all of my kings and queens it's your girl alexis crown here and i am back with another video for you guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you two protective styles that i achieved using the lustrous pink shea butter coconut oil line this line is lit now i have some favorites and i have some least favorites that i can do without so i'm going to be spilling all the tea the lights reflecting off of it but here it is right here this is how i got it in the pr package and tie your line so i used the hair milk for sure the edge control um and the cream and the curl enhancer so i'm gonna get into all of the details as we get into these hairstyles so first is wash and condition and then we're gonna get into the hairstyles so keep watching for today's protective styles i'm starting with freshly washed hair that has already been detangled in section hence me taking the plaits down so i'm going to start with applying the hair milk to my hair i want to set the foundation and lock in the moisture for all the styles that i'm going to be doing today now that our hair is parted and detangled i'm going to go in with the curl and twist pudding this is just adding more definition and moisture to the hair milk that i already applied i have kinky 4a hair so the curl and twist pudding definitely brought my natural curl pattern to life and moisturized it and add more definition to the style so the first style is pretty simple i'm just going in with braids and plait it all the way down to the end of the hair and once the braid is finished i wrap the hair around forming a bantu knot and i'm just going to repeat this process <laughs> Keep reapplying the hair milk because what I love about it most is that it naturally just moisturizes your hair without weighing your hair down. So it will definitely hold the style into place but also won't give you the stickiness or just the flakiness. It's moisturizing but definitely still defines your curl pattern. This is by far the best edge control gel I've ever used, honestly. Like, and I have kinky edges and it holds them down. The smooth and whole edge control gel, I'm gonna go in and lay my edges. Ladies, if you have kinky hair, you know that it's hard to find a good gel that doesn't flake and isn't sticky, but still works and lasts the entire day, and this one does. <laughs> Now we're gonna go ahead and take that first style down this is a bonus style you can always just wear your hair out in its natural state but now we're gonna apply more hair milk to set the foundation and more moisture for the next hairstyle which is actually a protective style So like I said, this is going to be a protective style. I'm going to apply more hair milk because I love it. It's literally my favorite product out of the entire line. Um, it just moisturizes and detangles your hair so easily. Going in with the edge control gel just to make my edges smoother. You know how people do with the braids. I'm doing the same. So this is going to be a flat twist protective style. So I'm going to do the flat twist method all across my head like they were braids. Once you finish flat twisting, go ahead and continue the twist all the way down to the end of the strand of the hair and then add more moisture to the end. So you're just going to use your personal discretion as how big or small you want the twist and continue to do this method all across your head. the twist finished I go in and I apply a scrunchie because I want it to look like a bun method so then I lay my edges down just a little bit more and then I'm going to twist the twists that are outside my ponytail and form them into a bun
And that is it. You have a super cute protective style that's going to last you all week and it's pulled back out of your face. It's super elegant and professional. Check out Luster's collection and let me know if you try any of these styles. You can find the Shea Butter Coconut Oil collection at Target or Target.com. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to join the royal family. You don't have to get off of my channel or my page, but you gotta get off of this video. Look at the next video at the end of this clip. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.